Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right over here on West Indian Delights, welcome once more and thank you so much. Now, I'm going to do for you today it's a simple yet a lot of people degrade it recipe and it has been requested so so many times on this channel so so many times and i'm gonna do it for you the authentic way the old time long time jamaican way when we use my mother used to do it when we live at saint mary in the hills there yeah man we're doing for you today not turn a ton cornmeal ton cornmeal so what you're gonna need for this dish is some original coarse cornmeal the old time long time cornmeal we have everything in it not this refined one where them color up and have the bright yellow color but the original cornmeal the original coarse cornmeal you're gonna need some of that you're gonna need a bone dry coconut because from this coconut you're gonna get milk not cream so if you cannot get a coconut you need coconut milk in the tin not or in the bag or wherever you are whatever it is we we'll get it in but you're gonna need coconut milk not cream a bone dry coconut the spices are the herbs the scallion and the especially the thyme the green thyme that's what you're gonna need you're gonna need a peg or two of garlic depending on your taste if you don't want the garlic fine okay and you're gonna need a green scotch bonnet pepper scotch bonnet pepper to help with the flavoring you're gonna need a little salt of course and if you feel like you want to go a little more a little more tastier you'll need some butter I don't have butter I normally like mine with butter but I don't have butter today but if you feel like you want to put some butter go right ahead Put some butter now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna crack this coconut here to show you something so I'm gonna go crack it off camera then I'll come back because it's gonna be a bit noisy so I'm just gonna crack it when I come I'll show you okay crack the coconut but I want it was to just get this little head part out and to show you but you know what happened do this right round here got cracked and this is here is the coconut water and this here would be how your bone dry coconut looks now This is the juice from this bone dry coconut. All natural, all pure. I'm gonna taste for you. Now, this water is naturally sweet. That is what a bone dry coconut produces. It's the water inside of it. It is naturally sweet. I am just going to just taste it because my daughter loves this camera girl and I'm going to leave it for her. But I'm showing it to you. Normally when we do our country and we crack it like that, we just turn it right away in and drink from it. And if you buy your coconut and you want to do that, do it because I feel coconut. Eh? So, this is what the coconut will look like. So we're going to go right ahead, get our coconut from the shell and we're going to cut it up. We're going to... um make our milk we're gonna blend and we're going to come right back we're gonna prepare our milk and come back to you and this also is a coconut that you would use in the authentic jamaican rice and peas okay y'all and i promise you a video on authentic jamaican rice and peas i've given that to you already but i'm gonna give you this authentic Jamaican rice and peas with the bone dry coconut versus rice and peas. Eh? And when I'm not going to show you, just come and I'm going to cook it. I'm going to cook them from scratch. Okay? So we are on ton cornmeal now. So I'm going to go right ahead, get my coconut out and prepare my coconut milk. And I will be right back. Okay, now we have our milk family all prepared. coconut milk the cream would be a bit thicker 
Mm? So we need the coconut milk. This is pure, natural, pretty coconut milk. So we need something with a heavy bottom. Some heavy stainless steel skillet. Or if you have any of Jesse, but you know Jesse and my girl. So I'm gonna use Jesse. So we're going to chop the flame right here. Right, we're gonna pour in some of our milk. And you do it just like that, not to cause any spill. Okay. We'll be using over here. Okay, we have some scallions. We smash them and we have some thyme. So we're gonna rinse them. They were washed before I put them in my refrigerator. Because I don't buy things at the market and put them in my refrigerator without I wash them. But just for handling and everything, I just normally rinse it over. So you put it in there just like that. We're going to need to put in a little salt. Just for now. We're going to put in a little salt right there. And we're going to put in two. We're going to rinse them cloves of garlic smashed we're gonna cover this spot and leave it to come to a boil but don't cover it all the way and you've got to be watching it because it's coconut milk and it will boil and foam right over remember that now I have right here two cups of the cornmeal but what you want to do which equals to about a pound or a little less let's look let's say a pound you're gonna mix this cornmeal with a little cold water. You can't just put it in there like that. It will become lumpy. Eh? So you're gonna mix it a little at a time until, I'll show you, I'm not gonna cut it. Just a little at a time. I'll show you what you want it to look like. So you're gonna mix this cornmeal. Try and make, trying or making sure that there are no lumps. Do not put the cornmeal in the milk because you're not going to put in this thing until that milk gets boiling. Eh? So you want to make like a little piece that when it go in there and you take it, it don't get lumpy. Okay, you all? So you need to be doing this right here. You're preparing. The milk is coming to a boil with the herbs. So you are therefore now preparing the cornmeal that when it goes inside that hot mixture, it does not lump okay it doesn't come to a clump so maybe no it's like we're making some cornmeal porridge but you will see where we're going branch off from the porridge to return cornmeal okay so you want to have it looking like this huh yep you want to make sure it looks like this before you put it down into that milk okay please do not omit this process this this what well, processor this part of it whatever sometimes you know you're looking for a specific words and you just can't get them same time eh? so you let the cornmeal look like this so we're over here and we're waiting on our milk to come to a boil now there is gonna be some proportion thing going on and I will link for you in the description. Remember, I told you how much cornmeal. You got to know because when it starts boiling and you put this in there, you need to know if you have enough water, sorry, milk, or if you don't. Right now, we're going to need to get the rest of this milk. Probably not all. On a burner over here, getting all warmed up. Just in case when you put in the cornmeal, this mixture is not enough. So you want to have, I should have started it already. But it looked like I'm not ready for camera today. But that's how it goes sometimes, fam. You're just human. You know how it go? Mm -hmm. So you want to have enough water, sorry, enough mixture milk, so to speak. Enough liquid. That when you hit this, this hits it, you have enough. So we're gonna give it a little wait until this milk comes to a boil and I'm gonna show you how you proceed and what to do from there because when this here hits this and look here it's boiling it is boiling I'm 
going to turn my flame right down, you need to turn your flame right down to low right now. Because right here and now, you got to be real careful when this cornmeal hits this hot milk. Because it's going to start like popping. This coarse cornmeal has a lot of power in there. So you got to approach it, approach it with some caution. Huh? Okay, look at what I'm talking about. You see what I'm talking about? Now it, it's in the hot milk. Mm? Look at this. Flame hop back to medium. Look at what I'm talking about, y'all. Okay. You see the screaminess? Yep. You see it coming? Okay. You see what I'm talking about? All right. Let's get back down to lowering our flame. We want right here and now to do a little tasting for the salt perfection. So you find a little milk. Mm. Now look here. We want a little more salt. Mm? Please to measure your salt in your spoon. Don't do like I, you know, say, you know. And I think I'm supposed to be good on that. No more salt. Okay. Right in on this camera, girl. Because a lot of people would like to make this dish. Some people discriminate it so much, but a lot of people would love to make this dish. This is what is going to happen now. It's going to be clumping to the spoon. Okay. Now, this milk is coming to a boil. What I am going to do right here, I'm going to pour a little more. Okay. I hope you're all in on this, you know, because a lot of people would love to make this thing, you know. Oh. I hope you are all in on this one. Are you looking at the creaminess from the coconut milk with the cornmeal? Mm -hmm. You're going to get everybody in on this. This is going to happen because you need to get it off the spoon. Mm? Okay, sorry for the noise. So look at what I'm doing now. Please to look. You're going to leave it like that. You're going to let your, your flame is on low. Please show them this. The, 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 the. Okay. This is what you're going to leave it on or a little bit more. And you're going to cover. And that is why I say to you, you need an, this heavy bottom. You know, sometimes you have some heavy bottom stainless steel skillet. Or sometimes the, the thick heavy bottom or something like one of these. No, 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 I'm sitting there. You understand? Because this cornmeal here, it takes 30 minutes to be properly cooked eh? now look at it one more time this is what it looks like it's gonna be stay it's gonna stay there and it's going to steam now you're gonna have to check it in between because you'll be using this milk each time but i'll come back to show you when you will need to put a little more milk when it's properly done there are two ways to eat when it's properly done it's on a little wetty side, cooked, but on a little wetty side. That's how some people like it. I'm included in that batch of people. There are some people that likes it when it is dry, dry. Listen to what I'm saying. When it's properly done, some people like it to be properly done, but with some moisture. I'm included in that batch. And for the people now that likes it when it's done, but it's dry. So I'm going to show you how, where, and when you branch off or you stop or whatever so we're gonna leave it probably another 10 to 15 minutes we'll come back we'll look at it and i'll come back with you okay okay family this is halfway now between the in between the 30 minutes so this is like 15 minutes did not remember to put the scotch bunny pepper in so i just stuck it right in there off camera now look at this i want you to look right look at this get right in camera girl you see what is happening around here look at this look at this this is the oil from off the coconut okay the dry coconut can you imagine this when it finish all right you're gonna stir it up now but try not to let the pepper burst look at this come on girl right in over you're releasing you're turning it over so you're releasing the heat that is trapped because some serious heat trap inside that is thing you know okay y'all we have some serious eat. We remove the skeleton at inter at a certain point. So look at this. So you're turning around. So you want to. That's why we call it pun cornmeal, you know, eh? 
this is the reason look at the bottom of it when it's properly cooked it's gonna get a little brighter color okay so you're releasing some of the heat that is trapped within it and that heat that it is steaming it inside there okay all right we might can move some of this skeleton can this skeleton don't do something already you know it don't do some serious serious flavoring inside there already you know so nothing is wrong if it's giving problems we don't really need it no more we can't take it out at this point eh? all right so i'm gonna show you i'm not gonna edit out anything you all be patient with me stay right there right there camera girl hold that camera right there and you all please stay right there if at this point these skeletons are giving problem you need to take them out or you could probably let the water boil a little longer before you put in the cornmeal to release them flavors all right we have a little more but then we can see all right now so you're coming back to this process you're gonna be doing it like this all through all through that's why it is ton cornmeal so you'll be moving do not let the pepper because you still need the, 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 the from the pepper because we should have been we should have put it in a little earlier look at this you see how smooth it you see how creamy it is and okay i want to show you something at the end of this it is catching at the bottom of the pot but i will not be able to show you what i'm talking about until it's it's finally ready and i take it from the pot look at it huh this is what so you're going to leave it there so look here you know we don't want any more liquid right now so you're gonna need a spoon this is the nature of it you know it's like more like some i don't like something when this is some african people cook i don't know what they call some couscous or something like that so you remove it like this from the spoon with a smaller spoon and you leave it like that you're gonna leave your spoon in some water and look here we are gonna cover back again on the same low heat so when we return we should be higher like halfway almost cook and i'm gonna show you how the people that like it soft how you do it and if you want it to continue to get in dry what you do eh so look at it one more time you see how it's round that sort of sloppiness around that's why we call it tone calm here. Eh? Okay, now family. Hey. Hey. Look at this, y'all. Look at the natural coconut oil. This is natural coconut oil running on top, y'all. Not everybody can do this thing, you know. Not everybody can do this thing. You have to come from up in the hills. Yeah. No city people don't know this. Look at this. No. Oh, my God look at this look at this look at this y'all look here i smell the pepper it don't burst no enough but the, the, the flavor look at this i smell the pepper it's not burst but i smell the flavor oh they do now no right as it is right here and now it is ready for the people that like it this way okay taking out some and i'm gonna put it right here yes it is ready for the people that like it this way which is me i me can't wait for the guinea some of this because i love it bad now for the people that likes it a little drier you're gonna notch your flame up right here and now honey child honey bunny to medium and you're gonna give it two stories. You see what is happening down there? It's catching. But when we reach the catch part there, you will see it. Yep. Notching the flame up, but you have got to keep an eye on this thing. Turning up the heat to medium. This is too high. Mm-hmm. Gonna cover it halfway to let some. You don't want it to be sweating and getting any more water now because you want it to come dry. Eh? So you're going to leave it right there so halfway and when it gets too little drier we come back and show you eh? now right over here this is how the people that likes it wet this is how it is it's ready but i when i come back i'll show you i will give you the difference i'll show you i'll explain in depth every single thing so when we come back 
we are going to have the one where the people them love it dry. You can also cup. Okay, let me get one of this. Hold on. I'm going to get some of this. It's cold. But I want to cup it. So show you so you can also cup it. Eh? Show you the power where this thing have in it. Yeah? Okay. Remember, you know, this is the, it's cooked, but it's of this consistency, yeah. Halfway, and we're leaving this. When I come back, I'll drop out this out the cup, because you've got, when you have it like this, you can't cup it easily, you know. You have to leave it in the cup to set, and then see if we can drop it out. This is how some people like it, and me definitely like it, so. But when I come back, I'll, I'll bring it to the, I'm gonna, I'm bringing it now to the stage of the people that likes it wet. When I come back, eh? Okay, now, family. See there? Look at it. Let us turn off our flame. See there now? This is for the people who like it a little drier. Hmm? Because you left it. And we had to continue stirring it, you know. Turning it, turning it. So see there? This is for the people who like it a little drier. Alright now. Let's get our cup down. Because you want to get out some of it some people like it when you cup it some people do not cup it and give them they don't thank you okay some people like it when you cup it and for most places like hotels and so now they cup it for presentation purposes and stuff they cup it uh -huh. like how you cup your rice yeah man so you have to leave it in the cup a little to set hmm? now there, let me address this first right down in here mm -hmm. you have something see there the dry one is when you do it dry that's how it looks but right down in here and i am waiting on somebody to comment in the comment section look at camera girl i think you're in this is the part where them call the bun bun when we did little and dark country, let me see if me have anybody who ever come in from that. When no one me attack up. When this thing finish. And we catch right here, so right in camera, girl. We take a little water and we sprinkle it. Yeah. Right here, this is the bun bun we call it. And we're going to leave it for about a 10 minutes. And I soon come back and address that. Now let's get right over here to do some presentation. Now, this is the finished product. And we're going to try to get it out. That's it. This is the finished product. Hmm? So you can take out a little, make a little hole or something down in here, sir. So. Mm-hmm. And you have your nice little tomato rose and you fit it on it mm -hmm. for presentation purpose you know hotels and people like that places like that they do it some people do it and let it stay a little firmer and then they slice it huh? but it's good mm? and you also this is the dryer version let us see if we can get the wet version wow Whew. Tell you about me version, man. You're so sweet and cute. No. This is what you have. It's the original, authentic, all-time, long-time Jamaican tone camel. The drier version, the more, the wetter version. Hello. This part is the part that we call the wetter, the bragada. You know, I'll give you a little story. The video is going to be lengthy, but I know you're going to like it. When I was doing office lunches and on a Friday I would have steamed fish all them little nice things there and I have turned cornmeal ton cornmeal I mean, I'm ton idiot and I put a turn cornmeal it's ton cornmeal the, it, it, is, uh, it is connected to the Creole language ton cornmeal that's the correct um, name for the dish ton cornmeal and somebody ordered and she said Miss Debbie do not cook me cornmeal don't copy. That is why I, I took it out like this to show you. So I said, what well, if you do with it if I'm not copy it? 
She said, Bragada put my car meal in my phone plate, Miss Debbie. Miss Debbie, Bragada put my car meal, a country I come from. Me used to my ton car meal, Bragada put in my plate. Yeah, sweet ya. Bragada put my ton car meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put that milk a shot. And look here. Make sure you have an, enough time that the thyme leaves are left in there. While you're eating, you're eating the thyme leaves. Yeah? Mm -mm. And the camera girl is behind the camera. And she can't wait for the video done. Because she wants it like that. So, to me real and to me an all-time, long-time authentic. I am a Jamaican woman. I am a Caribbean woman. Me show you a bragada pot. I've showed it to you, the weather version. The drier version. So let me present to you from my kitchen to yours. To your Palate, to your Marcan, to your Japanese, your Surinamese, your other Caribbean island um, kitchens. From to everywhere. Every single where. This is my authentic Jamaican ton car meal from scratch. Eh? You saw it. Do enjoy. Hello. How would you do? I want to know. If any of no, I'm going to do a little thing, but I can't, I'm going to cut or I might not cut. This is, uh, remember I damped it? Yes, a little noise, but I'm sorry. All right. Come camera girl, put the camera for me. Wish, wish any of you, let me wish any of you, I'm sorry, any of you all who born and grew a country, know about ton meal. Home from St. Mary in particular. Want to know about the part of it, yeah? The bun bun part of the ton car meal. Oh, God, Jesus, when you taste this. Hmm? Hmm? This is the best part of it. When you damp it. And when you scrape that little bread. Let me, let me tell you all. Somebody. I know there is somebody out there. Please comment. Please comment. Comment, eh? Now, I want to get you all in a, a little, you know, I want to change around some of the, how oh, we're doing the things. If you, you have, you have seen what I did, there are twists to this dish. Mm -hmm. I want you all, somebody or a few of you out there who don't have a problem with your social media, whatever the name that you use for YouTube to be called, tell me about it, Instagram, messaging, what's up or even the comments tell me what you would use to twist this dish there can be a twist we can use some other little things to twist it to bring up the color to make it more come to life tell me what you would twist it with remember when you send it to me i'm gonna come right here and i'm gonna call your name and say this is what this person say they would twist it with and we're going to cook it in the kitchen now if you have liked it Please remember to give it a thumbs up. You have been waiting on it so long. Yes, it takes a little time. There's a little technique to it. But good things. That's how good things are. Okay? Please remember to like, like. Share, share, share. And do remember to leave your comments below. Remember to send and tell me. And make sure you're somebody that does not have a problem with your name. Call it. Because I'm going to call your name and say, Okay, we're going to put the twist to the John Ton Carmel. And I'm going to use less forever twist her version that is what i'm gonna do so if you don't want a name call do not say it because i want to call a name i want to get my subscribers right in on what i'm doing so once more fun car meal from scratch debbie from dollar yard bless no stress not there so we are gonna eat some car meal eh?